Jewelry has been an essential part of every home for every occasion. Expensive jewelry stores provide appealing and timeless items that people see as valuable. It's one of the most lavish and intimate experiences one can have. You can dress to impress and be commended for your fashion sense. However, every ensemble requires a lovely and trendy piece of jewelry to complement it. Here are the top 10 most expensive necklaces in the world. Before we get further, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about all these videos. Alright, let's get to it. At number 10, Begum Blue, $12.3 million. The blue heart-shaped centerpiece is blue. Begum is the name of its former owner, former British model Sarah Frances Cooker Cruel, Princess Begum Salima Aga Khan. Her husband, His Royal Highness Prince Karim Aga Khan IV, gave her the necklace as a present. Princess Begum Salima Aga Khan donated it to charity following the divorce in 1995, when it auctioned as Christie's Geneva to Lawrence Graff for $7,790,708. A 13.78 carat blue heart-shaped diamond is set in the necklace, followed by a 16.04 carat D-color heart-shaped diamond. Whoa. At number 9, Emerald and Diamond Tiara, $12.7 million. The 11 pear-shaped Colombian emerald stones in this Emerald and Diamond Tiara comprise around 500 carats. Around 1900, the previous owner was Princess Katharina Henkel von Donnersmark of Upper Hungary. At Sotheby's Magnificent and Noble Jewels in 2011, it sold for $2 million more than its original estimated price. At number 8, Magnificent Ruby and Diamond Necklace, $12.99 million. The necklace outdid Crimson Garland by becoming the most expensive necklace ever sold at auction after the Crimson Garland had this potential. It was sold at Christie's Hong Kong in the summer of 2015 for $12,997,122 to an unidentified buyer. Etc. has designed the necklace, which is available as a brilliant cut diamond latticework ring. Two rows of oval and cushion-shaped rubies are strung together with a centrally set of 13 internally perfect pear-shaped clear diamonds. And number 7, Heart of the Kingdom, $14 million. Garard and company created this beautiful piece, which features 155 carats of pear-shaped and round white diamonds set on a bracelet. This ruby, in the shape of a heart, weighs 40.63 carats. The rich blood drove crimson color enhances its allure. Because it can be worn as a tiara, the necklace is incredibly versatile. The heart of the kingdom is made up of 150 diamonds. The asking price of $14 million is not surprising. Number 6, Blue Bell of Asia, $17.3 million. It was discovered for the first time in Sri Lanka in 1926. The necklace was auctioned off for $17.3 million in 2014 at Christie's Geneva. In any case, the identity of the buyer was never divulged. The eye-catching 392.52 carat cushion-cut blue Ceylon sapphire, designed by OLM Makan Markar & Co., was embellished by one of the largest channelizing sapphires. It's also unheated and of Ceylon origin. And number 5, The Heart of the Ocean, $20 million. We all remember the queenly diamond necklace with the large hypnotic blue diamonds, worn by Oscars winning Kate Winslet in the 1997 blockbuster Titanic. Not only did Winslet entice us with the blue sapphire diamond necklace, but it was also seen on Gloria Stewart at the 1998 Academy Awards. The necklace Winslet wore cost $10,000. It was designed by the world famous jeweler Harry Winston. It contains a 15 karat blue diamond and costs $20 million, which explains its inclusion on the list of the most expensive necklaces. And number 4, Patiala Necklace, $25 million. The Patiala Necklace of Maharaja Bhupinder Singh of India was stolen in 1948, but parts of it were recovered in a London antique shop in 1998. When it was initially made, it included 5 rows of diamond-encrusted platinum chains and 2,930 diamonds, weighing 962.25 carats. Seven massive diamonds, ranging between 18 and 73 carats, were put in the center of the necklace that also included the famous 18-carat tobacco-colored De Beers diamond, and two rubies totaling 29.58 carats. At number 3, the Pink Panther, $46.3 million. So far, the Pink Panther necklace is one of the costliest in the world. It is a 24.78 carat pink diamond that has been dubbed the biggest diamond ever discovered for its classification. Little is known about its origins, although Harry Winston recently sold it at auction to jeweler Lawrence Graff. And number 2, Lane Copara Ball, $55 million. With a 407.48 carat internally flawless brownish yellow diamond, this stone is set in rose gold and studded with a 91 white diamond. This magnificent gem weighs a whopping 637 carats, and it's priceless due to its odd asymmetrical and irregular design. According to a history, the original stone was discovered by a poor girl in Congo, Africa, a few decades ago. 
before being cut and set in the necklace by luxury jeweler Muawad. This rare pricey diamond was a great draw for notable organizations like the Smithsonian. The 637 carat center stone is said to be the largest internally perfect diamond in the world. And at number one, a heritage in bloom, $200 million. The heirloom quality piece of jewelry obtains its originality from the fact that no other piece of jewelry in the world can be compared to it. Only then do we realize that Wallace Chan, a Chinese artist, has exceeded himself with his masterwork, A Heritage in Bloom. With its true enthusiasm for jewelry, Chan tended to establish a mark of authenticity, and A Heritage in Bloom is that original mark that ensures Chan's name remains at the top of the list. The design is made of 104 carats of beautiful colorless diamonds and was purchased for $35 million. The necklace has 19 more divine, colorless, and inwardly appealing diamonds, about 600 pink diamonds, 114 frosty green jadeites, and 72 white mutton fat jades. Well guys, that's it for this one. What'd you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.